Do you need to change the oil in your boat? I'm going to show you how. The engine oil needs to be changed every 50 hours. It's fairly inexpensive to change the oil in a boat, but completely necessary. It will keep your boat happy, and if your boat is happy, then you are happy. I'm going to go through the six steps of changing the oil in your boat. One, warming the engine up. Two, draining the oil. Three, removing the filter. Four, installing the filter. Five, filling with oil. And six, running the engine and then checking the oil. Step one, warming the engine up. I ran the boat on a fake -a lake If you need a video explaining how to use a fake -a lake click the link in the upper right corner. Boats run around 160 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. I just ran the engine until it was warmed up so that the oil would drain out better. Step two, drain the oil. Locate the drain hose that is attached to the oil pan. Many times it is clipped to an engine lift ring, but mine was just laying in place. Feed the hose through the drain plug. Remove the oil cap. This makes it so that there isn't a vacuum when the oil starts coming out. Remove the oil drain plug and allow the oil to drain out the engine. If you're getting value from this video, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Step three, remove the filter. The oil filter on this boat is found on the starboard side of the engine. To remove this, I actually used a super cool trick that I learned from Clue Engineer on YouTube. He has an excellent channel. I used a grocery sack with paper towels to catch the oil filter and remove it from the boat so I don't get oil everywhere in the boat. It worked perfectly. Step four, install the oil filter. Before installing the oil filter, remember to reinstall the oil drain plug. Make sure it is snug, but not too tight. Pro tip, I write the engine hours and the date on the filter so I remember when I need to change the oil again. I'll state it again here, change your oil every 50 hours. Now prep the oil filter for installation by putting some oil on the rubber seal and pouring some oil in the filter. Now install the filter, just put it on snug. After the rubber seal hits the engine block, you turn the filter another half a turn to about a full turn. You just wanna make it so that it's snug on there so that it doesn't leak, but also you don't wanna over tighten it and strip something out. Feed the oil drain tube back into the engine compartment and place it in the same location you found it. Step five, fill with oil. With the filter on and the oil drain plug installed, put some oil in the engine. I used 15W40. This engine takes between four and four and a half quarts. Use your owner's manual to determine the type and amount of oil you need. Check the oil level with the dipstick. Step six, run the boat and check the oil levels. Run the boat on the hose to make sure that there's no leaks. After the engine gets warm, check the oil level with the dipstick. After an oil change, the manual says to check one more time when the boat is floating in the water. Pro tip, periodically check your engine oil level and adjust as needed. That was the six steps to changing your engine oil. If you need help changing your steering cable, click right here. Or if you want to see a funny video about our family, click right here. You can also subscribe right here.